Hi everybody, I'm Ryan. That's Icarus. Today we're going to talk about serialized cards. There's been a lot of talk in the Magic community recently about serialized cards, but some people don't really know what they are. So let's talk about them, what their implications are, and what this means for Magic moving forward. Serialized cards are essentially a numbered stamp, a serialized stamp, on certain Magic the Gathering cards. Now what this does is it makes that card very unique compared to other cards. Normally this is a 1 through 500 serialized stamp. Sometimes, in the case of the One Ring in Lord of the, Lord of the Rings set, it's a 1 of 1 serialized stamp. Now what that does is it creates any card that is serialized and turns it into a collector's item. Because that card you're holding, the 5 out of 500, is the only card that is 5 out of 500. It makes it totally unique of every other card. It makes it an incredible, co valuable collectible, especially if it's of certain numbers. If it's a 69 or a 420, it's weird those ones are, I can't imagine why, or a number one, then those cards are going to be even more valuable and even more collector's items, especially if it's a playable card. Or in the case of the One Ring, where it's a one of one, you get offers and bounty offers, which are always lower than what it'll actually sell for, of upwards of $2 million. So it creates this really cool atmosphere when you open collector boosters now of like, maybe you'll open a serialized card or maybe the One Ring. The rumor has it it's already been opened, unfortunately. There's a higher tier and a more valuable thing that you can possibly open now, which is really cool. In some sets, like March of the Machine and the Brothers War, these serialized cards are also come with cool foil treatments, new art, really cool unique frames, to even more make them unique and very, very cool and outstanding from other cards uh, in that set. Especially in the Multiverse Legends version of March of the Machine, which lets you open cards from other sets with serialized numbers on it, like Ragavan or Atrexa. And all in all, this just means that you can open better and cooler cards. It brings up the value of ev on the average pack and adds a really neat collector item to Magic the Gathering. This also might mean more and more packs are going to be open, which could drive down the price of other cards in the set, which is really cool for people like me who do not care at all about collecting Magic and would rather just be able to play for even cheaper. If you like videos like this, please be sure to like and subscribe. Check me out on social media. Links are above me and in the description, especially on Twitch, where I stream most nights. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.